welcome back to my channel and welcome to another 20 favorite foods on WW. There was an overwhelming response in my last top 20 foods for 2020 video. I'll link that down below if you have not seen that asking for another video in this series. Like I mentioned in that video, I literally could have come up with a hundred of my favorite things that are must haves in my WW journey. So I am back today to bring you another 20 foods that I feel are essential in any type of WW journey or healthy eating or weight loss journey. They're just good foods to have on hand. They're delicious and they're point friendly. So let's jump right into the next 20 foods that are must haves on WW. <music> Number one is light butter. I love butter, like I really love butter, but it's four to five smart points for one tablespoon of traditional butter. So when you're following a healthy eating journey or a weight loss journey, you make substitutions. You find good dupes for some of your favorite foods. My very favorite light butter is, I can't believe it's not butter light. I like both the spread and the spray. Both of those are my favorite substitutions for regular love of my life butter. They taste really good. They're very low points. You can have one tablespoon for one point, or you can have quite a few numbers of spray of the I can't believe it's not butter spray for zero smart points. So just great alternatives if you love butter. I put these on my vegetables. I use these in baking and in cooking. I'll just use these in place of real butter or sometimes in place of oil in certain recipes. I love the spray butter on popcorn. It's so good. You can add your salt or your popcorn seasoning and that spray butter gives it that rich buttery flavor for zero smart points. So definitely invest in some sort of light butter or butter substitution. Next oh, is pasta. I love pasta. I think I have some Italian in me. I feel like I have or should have some Italian in me because I love pasta. But pasta, unless you are following the purple plan and you are eating the purple approved pastas on the green and blue plan, pasta is high. And I still wanna be able to have pasta in my life. I want pasta. So I found a fabulous replacement for traditional pasta and that is fiber gourmet. It is amazing, you guys. It is packed full of fiber, so it keeps you full. It tastes great. It holds its shape. It does not become gummy like some of those other pasta substitutions do. It does not become goopy and stick together and have a weird aftertaste. It literally tastes better than regular pasta. I will tell you from my very picky husband, he has asked that we only use fiber gourmet pasta in our house. It's the only pasta that he loves. It comes in several shapes. There's spaghetti, elbows, rotini and penne. So any type of pasta that you would need for any type of pasta dish, Fiber Gourmet is a great substitute. Not only does it taste great, but the points are stellar. So regular pasta is anywhere for from five to six smart points for two ounces. Fiber Gourmet is only three smart points for two ounces, which is a serving of pasta, an entire serving of pasta for three smart points. You can't beat it. And for the taste and the fact that it has some nutritional value and keeps you full, Fiber Gourmet is a thumbs up, top notch alternative to traditional pasta. I buy mine off of the Nutrition website. I find it to be the least expensive there. There are some other foods that I'm gonna share with you that you can buy off of the Nutrition website as well. There's a link down below for that. It is not an affiliate link. It is just a link that will take you to the website, bring you to the WW friendly, foods, search around, there's hundreds on that website, but add fiber gourmet to your cart. And trust me, you're gonna wanna stock up. Next is center cut bacon. Most of us love bacon. And if you don't like bacon, I feel like you're somewhat in the minority. Bacon is delicious. It's great for cooking for recipes, great for breakfast, makes great meat or protein substitute on breakfast sandwiches, hello BLTs, but traditional bacon is generally pretty high in points. It has a higher fat content, so the points are going to be elevated. So I find that if you stick with a center cut bacon, it's a great choice. You can also have turkey bacon, but if you want that real authentic bacon, center cut is the way to go. I know that there are several brands of center cut bacon out there. I know that the Alfresco brand of bacon is low in points. My favorite is Private Selection. That is a Fred Meyer or a Kroger brand. 
So if you don't have one of those stores or one of those affiliated stores in your area, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to find this, but you can have two slices of private selection center cut bacon for one smart point. So in my opinion, that's the bacon that I think is the best bang for your points buck. But there are several center cut bacon options out there and they are traditionally about half the points of regular bacon. And of course there's turkey bacon as an alternative to center cut as well. The points on turkey bacon and center cut are pretty comparable. So you just have to pick the one that you like better. Do you want turkey bacon or do you want bacon? Next is another item you can find on the Nettrition website and is one of my favorites. I'm a sweets eater and I try to find substitutions for some of my favorite sweets, which one of those is Reese's peanut butter cups. I know that they do have a sugar-free Reese's, which is a great alternative as well. You can have one of those little sugar-free Reese's cups for one smart point. But if you want more peanut butter cup, for your points, check out ChocoRite. Again, these are purchased off of the Nutrition website. It is the least expensive that I have found. I cannot find these in my area. I can find the 100 or 110 calorie packs, but those are gonna be three to four smart points. So be really careful when selecting ChocoRite products that you're picking the 35 calorie a piece chocolates. So my favorite is the peanut butter cup. They're delicious. They are very, very close to a Reese's and they're quite, a bit larger than the sugar-free Reese's cup. So I generally gravitate towards those. I also think that the flavor is a little bit better. You can have one piece of the peanut butter cups for one smart point, or you can have the entire package, which contains two of the peanut butter cups for two smart points. They're delicious, absolutely delicious. And you can't beat two good sized peanut butter cups for two smart points. And again, those are purchased off of Nutrition. So while you're picking up Fiber Gourmet Pasta, pick up some Choco Right peanut butter cups. They also have turtles, they have crispy caramel, all sorts of Choco Right products, but my very favorite is the peanut butter cup. So make sure you add those to your cart over on Nutrition's website. Next is diet juice or five calorie or light juice. I love juice, my very, very favorite is orange juice, but orange juice is extremely high in points. And sometimes I just want a glass of juice. Can a girl just get a glass of juice? So I found that Ocean Spray has come out with a lot of diet juices. They are generally cranberry based, but they are so incredibly good. My very favorite is the pink cranberry, and it's zero points, you can have 16, I think up to 32 ounces of this juice. I'll put it here on the screen for you for zero smart points. So that's a lot of juice. I generally will just pour about an eight ounce glass, eight to 10 ounce glass of juice with my breakfast for zero points. So you're not missing out on juice if you are a juice drinker. They taste really, really delicious. There's cran apple, cran grape, cranberry, cran everything, you name it. Ocean Spray has you covered in diet juices. So definitely a great dupe or substitution if you are a juice lover. Next is another product and my final product that I'm gonna share with you that I purchased off of Nettrition's website and that is the Thinables. These are a dupe for Cheez-Its. These crackers are so delicious. My favorite is the Italian sweet cheese. Second to that is the sharp cheddar. If you love crackers, if you love Cheez-Its, you're gonna love Thinables. You can have 30 crackers for two smart points. Two, Cheez-Its, you can have less than that for five smart points. So it's a great alternative. Not only does it taste like a Cheez-It, but it's packed full of fiber and it's packed full of protein. So you're getting a protein and fiber kick for two smart points for 30 crackers. And they are delicious. They are just as good, if not better, than Cheez-Its. I like to have these sometimes as a snack. I'll pair it with a string cheese or maybe some cottage cheese. Or sometimes I just want a little bit of a crunch factor with my lunch. So I'll throw a serving of Thinables on the side of my wrap or my sandwich. They're just a great alternative to a traditional Cheez-It or to a high point cracker. So again, while you're buying your Fiber Gourmet, and your Choco Right products, you can add Thinables to your cart on Nutrition's website. While we're talking cheesy, let's talk about fat-free cheese. I like fat-free cheese. Some people like it, some people don't. But on all three plans, whether you're following green, blue, or purple, you can have a quarter cup of fat-free cheese for zero smart points. It's nice to add with regular cheese or light cheese to bulk up the cheesiness of your dishes. 
I don't notice much difference. I think it melts pretty good, especially the fat-free mozzarella. It melts really good. I generally will not only have fat-free cheese. I will pair it with a light cheese. So for example, I might take a light Mexican blend and fat-free cheese and have it and put half fat-free, half light cheese, mix that together. And then I still feel like I'm getting that ooey, creamy goodness of regular cheese, but I'm saving a ton of points by substituting half of the cheese with fat free. It tastes good. You can find it at any of your local grocery stores. Speaking of that kind of cheese, I also really like the Velveeta slices. These are only one smart point a piece. For me, this is my favorite thing to put on a breakfast sandwich. So if I'm making say a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich and also on a hamburger, it's also delicious melted over eggs. And for one smart point a slice, you can't beat it. So you can still have cheese on WW. Just substitute a portion for fat-free shredded cheese or make a choice of the Velveeta slices instead of those other high point cheese slices. You're not gonna notice a difference and you're gonna save yourself a lot of smart points. Another thing that we're always looking for on any type of healthy eating or weight loss journey is a sweetener substitute. There are a ton out there. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are good for you, some of them are not so good for you. In my opinion, my very favorite sweetener alternative is monk fruit. Monk fruit sweetener is an all natural substitute. It is nothing like Splenda or sucralose. It is a all natural sugar alternative. Monk fruit, my favorite brand is Lacanto. You can purchase this at your local grocery store. You can also buy this off of Nutrition's website. You can also find the monk fruit sweetener at Costco or Sam's Club. They also make a powdered sugar version and they also make a brown sugar or a golden version. It's just a fabulous sugar alternative. It tastes like the real thing. It is zero smart points no matter how much you have and it's good for you. All that is in there is the monk fruit, which is a naturally derived sweetener. So it's just a great alternative to regular sugar, zero smart points. You can use it in your coffee, in baking, pretty much in anything that you would use regular sugar in, you can substitute monk fruit sweetener. Again, you can find these a lot of times at your local grocery store. Costco, I know, carries the big bag of the granular sweetener, which is what I have. And also over on Nutrition, they do carry the granular, the powdered, and the golden. So definitely add this to your arsenal if you're someone who likes to bake or sweeten things with sugar. Definitely use monk fruit in place of sugar. You're not gonna know the difference and it's zero smart points. Next is a zero point marinara. You can use this for everything from pasta to making pizzas. You can make two ingredient dough and use this marinara as your pizza sauce. And there is a great recipe out there that is made in your crock pot. It is from the skinniest dish. It is her crock pot marinara. I make it all the time. It is zero smart points no matter how much you have and it is absolutely delicious. I am going to link her recipe down in the description box below. What I do is I make an entire crock pot full of the marinara. I put it into mason jars, make sure you shallow up your mason jar a little bit and I throw it into my freezer. That allows it to expand during the freezing process and not make a big mess. And it is really truly better than any store bought marinara sauce and it is zero smart points no matter how much you have. I use this whenever I make spaghetti lasagna or any type of pasta dish that calls for a red sauce and I use it all the time in chicken parm and pizza. It really is so versatile, it's zero smart points so you can save your points for the other things, the pasta, the cheese, the meat, the olives, the other things that are part of the dishes that would use a marinara sauce. And I'm telling you, you guys, it's delicious. It's another thing that my husband always requests we never buy regular red marinara sauce in the store because it ranges from two to five smart points for a half of a cup when you can make quickly in your crock pot a zero point marinara. So definitely check it out. I know that there are some other zero point marinaras out there, but this one is the only one that I've ever tried and I absolutely love it. I will give you another little pro tip or little hint. If possible, try to use Hunt's products. I have made this marinara with several alternative tomatoes, some of the generic ones like Walmart or Fred Meyer or Safeway, and it just never turns out as good as if you actually use Hunt's. Hunt's tomatoes, for some reason, make this marinara a lot better. So if you can invest a little bit of extra money that it costs to buy a name brand or Hunt's tomatoes, highly recommended. But check out the recipe down below and add this to your next 
meal prep or when you're getting your food ready for the week, you will not be sorry. Next are Cleo bars. Now, a lot of you have probably never heard of these, but I found these at my local Walmart. I scanned them. They were five smart points, and I thought, ooh, that's a lot for this little Greek yogurt bar. But I bought one, and I thought, you know what? On a day that I have some extra points, I'm going to give it a try. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you how delicious these are. They literally taste like you are eating chocolate covered cream cheese. No exaggeration. They are so good and they are so good for you. Their ingredients are on point. There is nothing artificial in these. They are such a clean food and they are so incredibly delicious. My very, very favorite flavor is vanilla, but they also make a strawberry, blueberry, espresso, honey, peanut butter, and I think there's one more, I'm just not, coconut, I think it is, but I can never find that locally. Now you can purchase these at Walmart, that is the only place that I've been able to find them, or you can buy them off of the Clio Bar website. They range anywhere from five to eight smart points. Most of them are five points. The one that I have found that is eight smart points is the peanut butter. And to be honest, it's not my favorite. I really truly love the vanilla and I love the espresso. If you are a coffee lover, my friends, you're going to love this. And again, I know five smart points, eight smart points sounds a lot for a dessert, but they are so good. And if you are looking for something that is not only good for you, but tastes amazing, Cleo bars are the way to go. You can find them in the yogurt section at Walmart and they are something that you need to keep in your refrigerator. They have this delicious chocolate coating and they do have a bit of a tang of the Greek yogurt. So if you absolutely hate any part of Greek yogurt, I'm not sure that you will like these, but I don't notice much of a tang. To me, it literally tastes like cream cheese or cheesecake, especially the vanilla. It's so good and it is worth every five smart points in my opinion. So if you're looking for a good wholesome sweet treat, check out the Clio bars. Speaking of yogurt, let's talk a little bit about non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Plain Jane, non-fat Greek yogurt. If you are following the blue or purple plan, this is zero smart points, which is amazing. If you're following the green plan, you do have to count points for your non-fat Greek yogurt, but this just isn't your mama's yogurt. You guys can use this in so many things. You can add sugar-free pudding mix to it to make a decadent cheesecake-like dessert, and it can be anywhere from zero to one smart point. All you have to count for is the pudding mix. And again, this is on blue or purple. If you're following green, make sure you measure out and count the points for your Greek yogurt. You can also add things like chocolate chips to this. You could add a little bit of that monk fruit sweetener. And the one thing that people use the Greek yogurt for a lot is to make two ingredient dough. That is equal parts, not that Greek yogurt and self rising flour. You mix that together and it forms a dough. And people use this for anything from pretzels to breadsticks to pretzel bites and most importantly for pizza crust. And it is so low point. It is a complete dupe for regular pizza crust. You can still have pizza, my friends, on WW and stay within your points. You can load it with toppings, especially if you're using that zero point marinara. Save your points for your toppings, your cheeses, your olives, pineapple, sausage, pepperoni, whatever it is that you wanna put on your pizza. If you make the two ingredient dough, you can just bulk it up with toppings and save your smart points for that. But non-fat Greek yogurt is a great thing to have on hand. Also, I use non-fat Greek yogurt a lot as a sour cream substitution because I can put a couple tablespoons on my dish for zero smart points, even on the green plan. And for me, it doesn't taste much different than regular sour cream and it's zero smart points. So definitely add non-fat Greek yogurt to your list. My favorite brand is the Fa A. I find that that one is the best. It is thick and creamy and it doesn't have a lot of leftover liquid. So it's great for two ingredient dough. And in my opinion, it just has the best overall taste and texture, but there are a ton of non-fat Greek yogurts out there. Just find the one that works for you, but definitely put this on your grocery list. Next is almond milk. Almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, any kind of milk alternative. This is not only going to save you a ton of smart points, but you can use this in everything. You can literally drink it by the glass, put it in your coffee, cook with it, bake with it, you name it, it is a great alternative to regular milk. Now, if you do not like almond milk, coconut cashew milk, 
oat milk, whatever other kind of milk alternatives there are out there. There are a couple of regular milks that are very low in points. One of them is Fairlife. And the other one is a Kroger or Fred Meyer brand and it is called Carb Master. They make both a white milk and a chocolate milk. And they are the same amount of points as almond milk. One smart point for one entire cup. So if you don't like the milk alternatives, you can always look for Fairlife or Carb Master milk in your local grocery store. I use these a lot when I make smoothies because sometimes I just don't want that almond milk taste. Same with coffee. Sometimes I just really want to use milk in my smoothie or in my coffee and the Carb Master and the Fairlife are great for that. They are all the same smart points whether you choose a nut milk or milk alternative or one of these regular milks one smart point for one cup. You can't beat it. I always, always have some sort of milk or milk alternative in my refrigerator. Let's talk bagels. I cannot tell you how many people have told me when they started WW or any type of healthy eating journey that bagels are out. They're loaded with carbs. There are a million smart points. I can't have bagels anymore. Yes, my friends, you can. You can if you purchase Western Bagel Alternative Bagels. They are amazing. They taste like a regular bagel, but let's talk about the smart points. So there are options from Western Bagel. The key takeaway or the thing to remember is make sure that you are ordering the alternative bagel, not their regular Western bagels, but the alternative. This is the one that is going to be lower in smart points. So there are three different smart point values in the alternative bagels. Number one are the baglets. These are the small bagels. They're about a two and a half inch by two and a half inch bagel, similar to what you would find in like a bagel bite or something like that. They're just a smaller bagel, but they are only one smart point. But with crazy Weight Watcher math, if you have two of them, it is three smart points, but you can have one of these baglets for one smart point. They're great to pair with some eggs and bacon for breakfast. You can put a little light cream cheese or spray butter on them. And for one point, you can't beat it. There are several kinds of the baglets. I really like the wheat and the onion. I think they're absolutely delicious. Now for two smart points, you can have the Western Bagel Healthy Grain, which is a perfect 10 bagel. This one is only two smart points for a full size bagel. Yes, full size bagel, two smart points. No more bagel thins, my friends, and no more eight or nine or 10 smart big smart point big bagels. Stick with the Western bagel. So the perfect 10 healthy grain is two smart points. Any of the other alternative bagels are three smart points. My favorites are blueberry, cinnamon, and everything. They are so good. Every single bagel is absolutely amazing from Western Bagel. You do not have to give up bagels. You can stay within your points. Three smart points for a full-size bagel is amazing. Two in one is even better. So head over to westernbagel.com. I will put my code here on the screen. It'll give you 10% off. They often have a build your own box where you can pick and choose what bagels you want to add to a box, usually four bags or six bags of your choice of bagels. And that is free shipping. So you can double dip discounts, get the free shipping from the build your own box and use my code here on the screen to get an extra 10% off as well. So double bonus. But if you love bagels and you don't want a thin, crunchy, icky bagel, and you don't want to spend eight, nine, or 10 smart points, definitely check out Western Bagel. You will not be sorry because they are amazing. Next is another staple, in my opinion, is sugar-free syrup. I know that sounds weird, but sugar free maple syrup. Not only can you use this on your pancakes, your waffles, whatever you want as far as your traditional breakfast food, but syrup is used in so many other ways. You can use it as a replacement for sweetener and baking. You can also mix maple syrup with PB2 peanut butter and a little bit of almond milk or milk alternative, and it makes an absolutely delicious peanut butter, a legit dupe to regular peanut butter for one to two smart points. This recipe comes courtesy of Amanda Lewis here on YouTube, so definitely check her channel out as well. She has a great WW Weight Watchers channel, and she comes up with some great recipes, one of which is this peanut butter using PB2 and sugar-free syrup. So don't pass by the sugar-free syrup in your grocery store. Not only can you use it for pancakes and waffles, again, it's great as a sweetener in baking, and it is amazing in making peanut butter. I will type up Amanda's peanut butter recipe down in the description box for you guys. So you can check that out and make that, but it's super, super delicious. And it tastes like real peanut butter for one to two smart points. So 
definitely pick up sugar-free maple syrup. Next is a cracker. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, there are a lot of great WW friendly foods at Trader Joe's. I've done quite a few Trader Joe's hauls, and I've also done two five nights of dinners out of the Trader Joe's freezer section and from Trader Joe's in general. So definitely check out those videos if you love Trader Joe's and you're looking for some great WW friendly items. But one thing I love at Trader Joe's are their roasted gorgonzola crackers, you guys. These are so good. They are cheesy and crunchy and absolutely delicious. They are a cracker that you don't necessarily have to pair with a dip. Now you can, you can dip them in whatever you like. Maybe that spinach and artichoke Greek yogurt dip. I think that's what it's called. I'll put it here on the screen for you guys, but the Trader Joe's light spinach dip is so good with these, but they have so much flavor that you don't even have to put them in a dip. I like to just count them out and eat them with my sandwich. You can have a ton of crackers for the smart point. I mean, a ton, and they are absolutely delicious. You feel like you're indulging in this cheesy deliciousness, but they are still extremely low in smart points. You can find these with all of the other crackers at Trader Joe's. They are not a seasonal item, so you should be able to find them at your local store, but I love them. As a cracker between those and the Thinables, I'm set. Next up is another thing that I recently just kind of discovered on a whim. I added it to a Walmart grocery pickup and I've never looked back. And that is no sugar added pie filling. I know it sounds weird, you guys, but it is so good. I make an amazing dessert out of this and it is so incredibly low smart points. You take one to two servings. You can have, I think, three ounces of the no sugar added pie filling for one smart point. And that is a lot. They have cherry, apple. I think there's a blueberry or a berry as well. My very, very favorite is the cherry. And I do take one to two servings of that. I top it with a little bit of fat-free ready whip and some chocolate chips and it makes an amazing dessert. Like so good. And it's three smart points max. Like you can have this huge, delicious, indulgent cherry chocolate goodness for three smart points. So good. So next time you're in the baking aisle, just pick up a can. You can use it in the little mini pie crust. They have these little mini graham cracker pie crusts. You can put a little bit of your no sugar added pie filling in that. Top it with a dollop of fat-free Ready Whip. And again, you have a super low smart point dessert. It's very versatile. It's great by itself. It's great to mix in with non-fat Greek yogurt. You can also mix it in with whipped topping. So you could take some light or low-fat, sugar-free whipped topping and mix in a little bit of the pie filling and you have a really good dessert. So it's super versatile, very, very low points. I mean, you can eat the whole can for less than 10 smart points, which... I don't recommend, but you can do that if you really want to and it works into your day. But it's just a very versatile option for a sweet treat and a dessert. So pick up some sugar-free or no sugar added pie filling and check, check it out, you guys. It's super good. Speaking of no sugar added pie filling, Lily's chocolate chips. That is normally what I will use as my little pie filling dessert. But Lily's chocolate chips are extremely versatile as well. I love making homemade chocolate chip pancakes. I use these for toppings on desserts. Sometimes I will mix mini marshmallows and Lily's chocolate chips together and take a marshmallow and a chip and pop it in my mouth and it's this marshmallowy chocolatey goodness. They are extremely, extremely low smart points. You can have nine grams of Lily's chocolate chips for one smart point. You can have six 60 chips for two smart points. Six, zero. That's a lot of chocolate chips. I very rarely have that many. I'll usually just throw zero to one smart point worth of chips on a dessert. You can even have, I believe it's 12 chips for zero smart points. So you can add Lily's chocolate chips to so many things. I use them a lot as for desserts. And again, another thing I love to do with them is bake and make chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, I love chocolate chip pancakes. Speaking of pancakes and waffles, along with your Lily's chocolate chips, pick up some WW Friendly Pancake Mix. My two favorites are Birch Benders, Paleo, and any type of Kodiak cake. Favorite is buttermilk. These are pancake mixes that taste just like regular pancake mix, but they are loaded with protein and they are made from good ingredients and they are delicious. So not only do you get your waffle or your pancake fill, you also can make it healthy and full of protein and it actually will keep you full. You can add a little bit of that sugar-free syrup, some Lily's chocolate chips. You could even put a couple spoonfuls of that no sugar added pie filling on your waffle or pancake, yum. 
I'm so trying that. That would be so delicious as well. One of the other things I really like to do with the pancake mix is make mini waffles using my Dash mini waffle maker. I love mine. You'll see on my channel, I have several videos where I've used it. I've made chaffles. I've made waffle breakfast sandwiches. So check out my meal preps here on my YouTube channel. And I do have the Dash waffle maker in my Amazon store. So I'll link that down below for you guys. But add some sort of good, for you low point pancake or waffle mix to your pantry because you can use it for so many things pancakes waffles muffins to bake with it's just a great alternative to the non-nutritional value added pancake mixes and you still get the indulgence of pancakes and waffles we are on number 19 already i cannot even believe it number 19 is reduced sugar cranberries you guys, these are another thing that is just great to have on hand. They are super versatile as well. I love them in salads. They're so good. They add that chewy sweetness to any type of salad. You could pair that with some gorgonzola cheese or feta, some croutons, some wonton strips, so many things. And it just adds that nice kick of sweetness to a salad. I use these a lot when I make homemade granola. You can also use these in muffins and cookies. I mean, there's so many things and you can have one tablespoon of these reduced sugar cranberries for one smart point. You can't beat it. I mean, really, truly, you can add it just about to anything. It's great to add to desserts. I mean, seriously, it's a must have in your pantry. There are so many things that you can do with them. You can just even pop a tablespoon in a little baggie with maybe some lilies and some nuts and kind of make an on the go trail mix to take with you for super low smart points. So definitely pick up the reduced sugar cranberries. And number 20, the end of the road is light alfredo sauce so we talked about marinara or red sauce and i recommend the zero point marinara but if you have to have that white creamy deliciousness of an alfredo sauce the classico light alfredo is amazing it tastes just like the regular alfredo sauce it is extremely low smart points it's great to add to of course pasta so you can make a chicken alfredo chicken is zero smart points on blue and purple and extremely low on green pair that with some fiber gourmet pasta and a little alfredo sauce and you can have a dinner that is less than six smart points pasta alfredo less than six smart points bulk it up with some broccoli and you have a well rounded dinner. It's great to have on hand. You can use it as a dip. You can make two ingredient dough breadsticks and dip them in the Alfredo sauce. I also like to just put a quarter of a cup on top of a breast of chicken with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And it just really makes you feel like you're indulging in this creamy Alfredo, but it is so good and so low smart point. I always have a jar in my pantry. If you end up not using the entire jar in a recipe, just throw it in the fridge and it lasts a few weeks in your refrigerator. It's just another good staple thing to have on hand. So that's it. Another top 20 WW foods, WW staples, healthy eating foods. I hope you enjoyed getting another 20 ideas of things that you can add to your fridge, your pantry, your freezer, your arsenal for your WW journey. Everything that I shared with you that is not found in your traditional grocery store will be linked down in the description box below, as well as the recipe for the skinniest dish marinara and Amanda Lewis's peanut butter recipe. Everything will be down below. Also, all of the links to my favorite things, as well as all of the discounts that I can share with you are down in the description box below. So definitely check that out. If you're new to my channel or you're new to WW, I'd like to welcome you. You are in great hands here on YouTube. There are so many amazing WW YouTube channels for you to check out. So do some research, look around YouTube, find some great WW channels for inspiration, ideas, recipes. Also head on over, join my Facebook group for 12,000 amazing people who will share with you recipes, ideas, be your cheerleader. You can use them to vent to. It's just a great, positive, supportive place to be. There's a link down in the description box for my Facebook group directly as well. So however it's easiest for you to join, but head on over and join us there. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on a single video. And to make sure that you're notified whenever I upload, hit the little bell. It'll give you a quick notification that I've uploaded a video. I generally upload daily, uh, anywhere from four to six 
seven times a week, whatever I have for content. I prefer to upload daily. It's just sometimes life happens and I'm not able to put a video out every single day. But I hope that this helped bring you 20 more ideas of foods that are great to have on hand for your WW or your weight loss journey. Also, make sure that you thumbs up this video. It helps my channel out a ton and shows me that you love these top 20, these food ideas. And leave those comments down below. Let me know which of these items that I shared with you are must haves and what is something maybe new that you didn't think was actually doable on WW that absolutely is doable on WW. And my friends, if you have made it this far in the video, I know it's another long one, please leave the heart eye emoji down in the comments for me. And that way I know that you stuck around and you made it through all 20 WW foods. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was my pleasure to put together another 20 foods for you. Stay tuned for tons of great videos coming out this in 2020. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.